Hi, everybody. Okay, uh, I'm back, and I thought I would just give you my face of the day. This is the face that goes along with the Mac is back in town uh, tutorial. So let's get started. Okay, I went and got some tissue, so when my nose starts to drip, I don't need to share it all with you. Okay, um, on my face for foundation, I used Laura Geller's makeup. This is the first time that I have used this mineral foundation, and I'm going to do a separate video on it. But, and it will be up within the next couple of days uh, to tell you how I like this uh, foundation. What I really want to do is give it a full day to wear on an older skin to see how it um, works. Okay, um, I used MAC Plash Lush on my lashes. I used MAC Primer on my lids. On my lips today, I have Whirl by MAC Lip Liner. Just a uh, mauve color. Uh, it's it's not real blue because I don't do well in blues. On my lips today, I have Rouge Pour Couture Number no. Six. It's a beautiful shade. There you go. Let me get close so you can see the lippage. Okay. And over that for gloss today, I have a very sheer gloss, and it's called Bountiful by uh, Mac. I tried to stick with all Mac. And I just place that in the center. It's beautiful. It's really a pretty, you know, it's it's really, you think, mm, it's just a gloss, but it's got a, uh, it's very, um, it's sheer, but got enough punch to it. Okay, on my uh, cheeks today for my blush, I am wearing Palladio Herbal Mosaic Powder, and it's in Desert Rose, and it's a quad that you blend not a quad, it's a multitude of colors that you just kind of uh, swirl around and apply. Okay, so that's my blush. Uh, as a highlighter today, I'm wearing uh, Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Porcelain Pink, which I bought at the CCO, so I'm not sure that this one is in... Um, if you can buy this at your MAC counters, you have, might have to get it at a CCO. But that's just on glow the glow on my cheeks that you see. And then um, my uh, primer for my eyes is Laura Mercier and Wheat. I practically wear that all the time. I do have all the paint pots, but they get my eyes are a little crepey, so they get a little thick on my eye uh, eyelids. Uh, my primer today, because I'm wearing a mineral foundation, is Primed Poreless by Too Faced. I like this one. It really does a good job at uh, really refining the pores on my nose for um, uh, pores. And uh, I think that's it for my face of the day. Uh, I did want to go ahead and show you. Oh, and then for my uh, tight line, I'm wearing Teddy. Uh, let me show you the eyes. Okay, so I'm wearing Teddy. And for the eyeshadows, well, that would be nice if I mentioned the eyeshadows for you. I am wearing two colors by MAC. And again, that is Shale and Troy. They are both sheens. They are not sparkles. So they have just enough uh, sheen that if you're, you're older, like myself, hmm, or what did somebody tell me? Oh, I can't remember one of my subscribers, so I'll have to look it back up so I can tell you. Um, now, you say you don't want this color lipstick on during this? Well... Let's try another color then, because we're only at three minutes. Yes, okay, I'm going to change the lippage out and show you just how to create a different look with this, okay? I'm going to wipe my lipstick off. Okay, lipstick's off. Again, I'm going to go over it with my uh, a little bit of mineral powder, because as you can see, I have a lot of blue in my lips, and I do not like... So I'm going to blot it out. Okay. I think I'm going to go with a daring red color, but this red is not going to be a brick. It's going to be more of an orange red. Okay, so I'm going to start out with a MAC lip, uh, lip liner, and this one is in plain red. Okay? Just going to line my lips like I've done in my other videos. So here we go. Okay, bottom's done. Top.
Remember, lady, round out those beautiful peaks. Okay, so now I'm going to use a MAC lipstick called Lady Danger. Now, when I put it on, at first it's going to seem like, whoa, she's lost her mind. Not really. I'll go back and fix it all up. Okay, so MAC Lady Danger. It's a beautiful, beautiful orange red. Okay. Okay, let's really get that in there good. I think I'm in need of a little lip sugar scrub. Okay. We have a tendency to cut our lips off in the corner. No, 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 because they're going to droop down as you all know, so don't cut them off. Okay, so let's get that. Okay, really work it in there good. Okay, that's it on, on its own. It is a matte, okay? So some people don't like mattes on their lip. I don't mind them. Okay, so if I were going out with this color, my hair would probably be more, um, you know, I probably would tuck one back and give myself more of that uh, hairstyle that was probably from, you know, the uh, era of the 40s and the 50s, you know, when the women wore their hair really dapper. Okay, so I'm going to take and blot. Okay, which just blots it down. But here's what I'm going to do because, okay, I don't want to have it matte, too matte. And uh, it kind of looks dead on my lips. So I'm going to take a Chanel gloss. And this is the number 67 Lip Gloss Brilliant. And then some French word, which I'm not going to attempt. Okay, so I'm going to take that. And I'm going to put it on over the red. To soften it out. Okay, so, and then I'm going to take my little MAC gloss here that I used in the first video that just has a little bit more punch to it as far as the pink and just dab it in the center. And there you go. You have created a totally different look with this. Okay, and there you go. Because, um, you know, half a world out there that loves red lipstick, so why not enjoy it? We're not dead yet, ladies. Let's go for it. Okay, so that um, completes my um, Mac is back in town tutorial. This uh, Laura Geller foundation is not bad. We have to see how it wears, though. Um, I'll explain to you uh, why I tried this and um, what I think of it and um, whose uh, channel I was watching when I saw it in my next video. Okay? Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed this look, and if you have any questions, just go. Another thing, ladies, it is okay if you choose to line the inside of the lid. Matter of fact, I'll do it for you right now. I'm going to use um, my red liner. It's by Givenchy, and I'm just going to line my waterline with a brown, so you can see the way this could change, especially if you're wearing a red lipstick. You might want to have a more sultry eye. Okay, so now I've changed the lookout in the eyes and made it um, a little more of a smoky. I can't see it. Oh, there you go. Yes. Yeah, so it's more, um, it's a little more glammed up when you actually line the lids. So there we go. Okay, questions? Send them out and don't forget to subscribe. I got lots of contests coming up because I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. So thank you. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.